we're here live <laughs> here at the Full Arts with Robin Rios and Darrell Hari. Darrell is going to draw something that we don't know. But just let everybody know, please control your stomachs and don't vomit. <laughs> hey, everybody. So we're going to be talking here, as Darrell said. Um, he is one of Four Arts Collective members since uh, 2005. And uh, so he's here today and he's going to do a little drawing while we jibber jabber for a second or two. So, um, Darrell, we've, we talk about this all the time. Um, but the difference between working digitally now, which you seem to be doing a lot more of, opposed to when you're actually pen and ink on paper. Can you talk about um, like the fundamentals in terms for you, how different that is and what the learning curve was for you when you got started drawing digitally? Yep, uh, I think uh, working digital is, is, is still a learning curve even today. Like um, I still will hop on and like I will go on YouTube and see what the other folks are doing, how they doing it, how they do their shortcuts, and I just try to apply it to myself. Like I went to school and um, I started off in Photoshop, but it wasn't nothing like this kind of being taught in school. It was more like uh, copy paste. It was photo manipulating, but it was nothing like drawing until like now. Um, with this thing that I'm drawing with, with the Apple pad and everything, it has like, I'll call it like the closest thing to like drawing like with a sheet of paper. Uh, and there are other, um, I would say like stuff out there too that might be almost similar to the, uh, the Apple or iPad. Uh, I, I got one at home, like uh, it's, uh, I want to say Wacom, Wacom, please don't beat me up. But uh, you have a lot of that, you have to work on a computer with that. But they do have one, I think uh, you, it's portable, just like this uh, Apple uh, Pro. I forgot what it's called. But at the same time, I don't know if they even, uh, even continue making that particular thing. Because uh, I know I went on there on their website, I was trying to see if I could rent one. Well, you can rent it like per month or something like that. And I think uh, they're not doing that any, anymore. But I could be wrong. So uh, what else can I say? I think just, just working digital, I mean, it's cool. It, it, which it is, it's really cool, it's fast. You got the, you could do the undo f just about forever and ever. But the only thing dealing with this, is like you have to know what you're doing S still when you're using this particular stuff. It, it can't do any, it's not gonna be like, oh, bam, you, you're done. You press it. Like what do you mean mm -hmm. in terms of like uh, uh, shading or just technique of Pressing. Yep. I would say that too, even with shading or whatnot, it's like uh, you still got to learn and know your fundamentals when, you, when you're shading and stuff like that. Because I think a lot of folks still, when they get into digital, it's like they think it's all like, oh, everything's going to be easy. And it's like, no, you still need to know your fundamentals when you're drawing. So that means like traditional shading, and then it will translate into the, into the digital work. It and is, I know you didn't get, oh, sorry, oh, I, I was going to say, I know you didn't get into the digital right away. Mm -hmm. um, what kept you from really delving into it when it started becoming a thing? Uh, I think um, because I didn't have the tools. So that was probably one of the main things. I didn't have the tools. To, what do you mean by tools? So the tools like, like this, I didn't have this. So... Uh, which is iPad. Like an iPad, I, I didn't have it. So it was like, that was one of the things that was kind of preventing me to really get to uh, the digital. Like I was only like to work at home. Like I had a, um, what you call it, the, the, a Wacom. But sometimes like it, it is kind of big. It, you can draw on the screen, but it's like, it's not like you drawing on the screen. It's like you had a tablet. Uh, the, the, uh, I want to say the way can be drawing on the thing and then it translate onto the screen. And so it, has, it was a very big adjustment for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still do some stuff on that thing, but like drawing on the screen like this, this is, like I said, the closest thing you can do with traditional. But do I still love traditional? Heck to the year. I, I would never, by no means, give up the tra traditional pencil, paper, and pen. 
never give it up. Even with the watercolors, like I got into that over the years. So I never will give up the traditional. I mean, end of the day, like we were just speaking on earlier now, when you ask me, you still need to know your fundamentals. Know that, you know, before you even, to me, really just start dabbing into this. This is just nothing but a, an extra tool of an extension. But again, it's like, you still need to know what you're doing. It can't do anything unless you know. So, so here's a question for you, working on this tablet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what would you say then was made your life a lot easier in terms of um, using this now to draw on? Would you say coloring is way easier for you using a digital method or or was it just fine when you were doing it with watercolor or pencil or whatever? You know, I, I say uh, working on this, it's still not easy. That, that's the thing. Like I was looking uh, on some stuff on YouTube and I want, and again, I might kill this dude name and might get out there and, I'm, and dude is a phenomenal artist. He's been, been doing this for years. Uh, once an Ivan McCain, and I think it was my best some other people I might've came across too. And they said something that made a lot of sense about like uh, commitment. And, and, and what I mean by the word commitment, like when you're doing dual traditional pieces a lot of times, especially with watercolor, you commit to that. So you had to, um, whatever that you're doing, you, you had to execute and you still do. I mean, like, that's what I try to do now when I do this, uh, I mean, this digital stuff, I'm trying to have that mentality now, like commit. The thing with this doing the digital, is like you can do a lot of undo 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 you can kind of start all over again like nice and fresh but when you do a lot of traditional stuff you you find yourself you got that piece of paper and i'm just going to say you might have that budget you only got that one piece of paper you might have a deadline and you're just like oh wow i can't go to the store and here it is that paper one paper you got you got that pen that's got to be turned into whoever that, that you're doing that is a commitment right it's, there. it's a commitment you know but with this digital stuff a lot of folks kind of miss that, like not committing because, oh, I can undo, oh, I can push this button, do these colors. And it's like, and again, it's like, don't get me wrong, doing this, this uh, digital thing is, is cool. I mean, seriously, this thing is really, really cool. But at the same time, it still come back to, it's just like, you need to know your fundamentals. You, you still need to know that, so. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I do always love watching you draw things and I always enjoy seeing the next character that you create. <laughs> and can you just briefly go into like the zone, you know, what is that for you? Ooh. Oh man, I, I think the zone for everybody is so, it's, it's, it's really, really so different. Um, for me, it, it's, Sometimes it's very like a out of body experience sometimes when I'm drawing. Uh, like, like usually now, like I know because we're recording this, but I would like to listen to my music or I probably might have some uh, audio in the background as I'm, as I'm drawing. It kind of also helped me to space out. Cause like now, even when I draw whatnot, it's like meditation. So, and it's like one of those things, you just, you just start going. Sometimes I don't even think about, I just start sketching. And then the form just start taking, taking form itself. It's yeah. like I'm just start carving out of nowhere. So, because um, again, it's like uh, when you're doing this, I try to, you know, like I know we talk about this all the time, they try to capture that feeling as I was a kid, having fun. That was one of the main reasons why that I did what I did. It, it was fun. Like I think I was, I, every time I still think about this buddy of mine, is, uh, his name, Anthony Harris good guy. Uh, I mean, I haven't talked to him since grade school, but at that particular time and moment, that, when I think about it, that was a very special moment in time because I was really having fun. He, like that dude, he's probably, he's one of the dudes I can say, like, um, I want to say, like, being around him kind of really kind of pushed me to, like, to say, hey, he doing this. Man, I got to do this too, you know? But it was fun. It wasn't competitive, but it was fun. Like, I remember that dude did a comic book. I was like, man, I'm going to do a comic book too. <laughs> you uh -huh. know? And I actually still had that comic book that I did in grade school, you know? That's, that's the funny thing about that. But I use that now to say, hey, 
that was then and that was now um, just to see the growth, you know, but right. grade school, you know, but it was it was fun. And that's why I try to look at every day when I when I try to do this, like trying to have fun. It's not like a task or nothing. So I think now because I get old, I just look at it in, in a different perspective now. It's like, yeah, I like to work in the movies and all that stuff. But at the same time, it's like um, everybody path is so different. I said at the end of the day, it's like I still enjoy doing it. So I'm going to keep doing that until I die. So right on, bro. Mm -hmm. So. Well, Darrell, I really appreciate you coming by and chatting with me today. It's always, always a pleasure always. hanging out with my homie. With my homie. Thanks, guys, for viewing our channel. And please remember to like and subscribe. subscribe. That really helps us subscribe. with our channel. And yeah. more content will be coming soon, of course. Darrell. Right will be coming back again soon with his band or whatever <laughs> all right guys thank you so much Darrell say goodbye goodbye zoom in zoom out